Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. Hold my shot, we lick. Hold that bad little bitch. Hold that bad What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto, coming back at it again with another tutorial video. If you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen Yield Farm channel, but we're not going to go over any of those today, so it's all right. However, if you guys are brand new to DeFi and Yield Farming, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials, ask a whole bunch of questions around all these different discords and telegrams. Then once you guys kind of get a wrap around everything and Yield Farming, <laughs> come back and check out the rest of my channel. But like I said, today we're not going to be doing any of those DGen farms, so we're just going to go over this bridging tutorial. Now, if you guys are brand new, I honestly suggest you know you guys check out the whole basics and then go ahead and start running through all the different chains. For everyone else, you know, who's already familiar with everything, I'll have timestamps listed below to every single chain. So whatever chain it is you guys want to get to, just go ahead and hit those timestamps and just run on over. All I ask is that you guys smash that like button right before you go. <laughs> but anyways... Let's get to it. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and go over the basics. I definitely need you guys to have a MetaMask and that's going to be a extension. All right. So go ahead, grab your MetaMask, run through all the motions. Um, after you guys have the MetaMask, you guys will be ready to go. Besides that, I also need you guys to have an Exodus. All right. So Exodus is actually another crypto wallet, which, you know, in, in a sense is, is like your own crypto wallet. So for anyone who knows what's up with the uh, centralized exchanges, if you guys are on Coinbase or Crypto.com, KuCoin or anything, they are essentially holding your tokens. They're not really your tokens. So with that being said, that's kind of why I tell you guys, you know, go ahead and download Exodus as well. So that way, if you guys are bouncing out from, you know, a centralized exchange, you guys can take all that crypto that you guys grab. And then go ahead and deposit it in your exodus and that way you guys can hold it yourself so to be honest you know it's not 100 percent needed but like i said you know if you guys you know are trying to basically bridge from the uh, centralized exchanges over here to metamask and to all the DeFi, i would suggest you know you go ahead and just check out exodus but um anyways besides that after you guys go ahead and download metamask and go ahead and download exodus all you guys got to do next is just go ahead and uh, you know bring up chain list and then um and then from right there you're also going to bring up any swap and all of these links I'll have down here in my video. So go ahead and, you know, just come down here to where the video is, hit show more, and then all the links will be down here. Obviously, you know, I haven't done the video yet, so, you know, you guys don't see it, but like I said, all the links will be down here. So, so go ahead and, you know, hit every single link. So that way, you know, you guys can be caught up to where I'm at. So, but anyways, that's the basics. So let's go ahead and start getting into every single chain. All right, guys. So. If you guys are over here trying to bridge from a centralized exchange over into DeFi, basically, uh, you know, get to MetaMask, most likely jump into AVAX, Phantom, Binance. So that way, you know, you guys can participate in DeFi. These are the steps that you guys are going to need. All right. So it's pretty simple. It's not too complicated. But like I said, as long as you guys have the basics, we should be fine. If you guys did not download the basics, like I told you, go ahead and just check it out real quick. Download everything, then jump on back. But anyways, Regardless of whether you're using crypto.com, you're using finance.us, or if you guys are using Coinbase, this is all going to be the same thing. And so essentially, it doesn't really matter what you guys are using. Just understand that finance.us and finance regularly, they hold your guys' crypto for like seven to 10 days. So normally, you know, I always tell people to either check out crypto.com or go ahead and check out Coinbase. And so for this bridging tutorial real quick, I'm going to show you guys Coinbase. Super easy, but like I said, almost every single chain is the exact same. So that's essentially why I'm using Coinbase. But like I said, for you guys, if you guys are using Crypto.com or you guys are using Binance.us, like I said, it's the same thing, all right? So all you guys are going to do is go ahead and buy Bitcoin, buy ETH, buy Litecoin, whatever it is that you guys you know prefer. And then you guys are going to pick up your Exodus wallet and then you're going to send it to your Exodus wallet. So if you guys pick up Bitcoin, on binance.us or on crypto.com you're going to go ahead and send it over here to your bitcoin you're going to click on uh, receive um, here's your address you're going to you know copy your address once you guys copy the address you guys are going to go back to um either uh binance.us or you guys are going to go back to crow or you guys are going to go back to coinbase and essentially just go to wherever the uh, bitcoin is so you're essentially you know just going to come down over here you know to your bitcoin or eth or whatever it is and you guys are going to send this out all right so you guys are going to send whatever it is that you guys have like i said you guys can either use um where is it at right here you guys are going to 
send out your avalanche you guys are gonna send out your bitcoin whatever it is and you're gonna send that btc or ltc or whatever it is over here so so that's usually why i tell people to use exodus because like i said it's usually the easiest way and that's kind of the easiest way for you guys to you know swap on over to bnb or essentially just to protect your funds so so anyways let's go ahead and go back and uh like i said for this tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and use coinbase all right so coinbase i'm gonna go ahead and purchase some avalanches which you guys see right here and i'm gonna send this avalanche to my metamask okay so if you guys don't have avalanche just go ahead and check out the avalanche section i'll show you guys how to pull it up real quick but essentially you know you guys can just go ahead and use chain list go ahead and look up avax and like i said just go ahead and add the wallet you guys will be all right for everyone you know who's who keeps asking you know how to bridge from centralized exchanges into well, you know metamask and DeFi wallets this is the easiest way so like i said real quick i'll go ahead and do that let me go ahead and um switch my metamask over all right and so since i'm over here in my avax i want to receive from this side all right so on this side we're going to go ahead and copy my address we're going to go ahead and copy this address right here. You guys can see it. It's pretty easy. Then you guys are going to go, you know, back to, back to your guys' centralized exchange. And you guys are going to send. All right. So you guys are going to send that. So right here for me, you know, in Coinbase, I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to paste. So that's going to send that. And I'm, like I said, right here, Avalanche, this is what we're sending. And um, what we're going to do is just go ahead and click one. All right. So is it going to be a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and send 0.9. Just make sure everything goes through. And I'm going to hit continue. Then I'll go ahead and hit send now. It's going to confirm. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and hit the confirm. And then, like I said, it's just going to go ahead and send that 0.9 AVAX over. So if you guys, so if you guys, you know, go ahead and saw that little number in a bit, we're going to go ahead and get that 0.9. And this should be a 28 point something. So. So like right here, you guys just saw it right here. Um, it just switched over. I went ahead and go send. So, so like I said, you know, that's kind of why I use Coinbase. It's super easy to be able to, you know, just go ahead and <laughs> essentially purchase a bunch of AVAX and then go ahead and send it straight over here. And then from here, you guys can, you guys can, you know, start jumping to all the uh, DeFi yield farms, all of the DGen yield farms, all the stuff that my channel is about. And um, yeah, I mean, it's basically that easy. So if you guys are bridging from centralized exchanges, like I said, I will tell you guys, you know, make sure you guys uh, check out Coinbase because it's a lot easier. Or like I said, if you guys are on crypto.com or if you guys are on Binance.us, same thing. If they allow you to, you know, pick up Avalanche, then go ahead and do that. It's a lot easier. If you're on Binance, I'm pretty sure that you guys can get the BSC of that uh, BNB. So if this is, you know, you guys is bad, you're already on here. Go ahead and check that one out. And like I said, if you guys get the BSC version, you guys will be able to send it straight to you guys' uh, BSC. So, so like I said, that's super easy. Basically, I use Coinbase and I use Avalanche to uh, bridge from centralized exchanges into my DeFi wallet. So that's basically it. Um, end of tutorial. If uh, anything's kind of confusing, you know, go ahead and uh, just go ahead and, you know, hit the timestamp so it can go ahead and rewind again. And then, just, and then go ahead and, you know, watch it and see if there's anything that you missed. But anyways, that's it. So <laughs> go ahead and check out the rest of the videos. So that way you guys can see how to bridge to every single chain available. All right, guys. So. This is the Binance or slash BSC side portion of the video. You guys want to bridge to Binance. Super easy, all right? <laughs> first things first, go ahead and uh, pull up Chainlist. And then over here on Search Networks, you guys are going to go ahead and uh, spell out Binance. From here, you guys just want to go ahead and connect your guys' wallet and then hit Add to MetaMask, all right? It's going to come down here and tell you guys that, you know, do you want to add it? You're going to say yes. You're going to confirm it, all right? For me, I already have Binance, so... You know, there's no point for me to confirm that and do all that. So let me just go ahead and switch on over. Um, it's right here. Like I said, super easy. All you have to do is just go ahead and hit right here, add a MetaMask, and it'll pull it up and then it'll tell you guys to add it. So from there, you guys are going to need a way to get that BSC. So for one, if you guys are on a centralized exchange and you guys already saw that portion of the video, you guys obviously already, you know, sent some stuff over here to your Exodus wallet, regardless of whether it's BTC, Litecoin, whatever it is. You know you guys already have that and you guys basically already bridge your funds outward so from here super easy all right what we're gonna do is um, i'm gonna go ahead and show you a few ways way number one is uh using simple swap so like i said if you guys have btc or whatever it is you guys have in your exodus go ahead and put that up here at the top that's btc or litecoin preferably you know i always tell you guys that you know rock litecoin because you know because you know the fees are cheaper and it's a little bit easier so you know, we're just going to go ahead and pretend that we got Litecoin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and hit one. 
And then all you guys are gonna do is, like I said, down here at the bottom for Binance, you guys need to pick the BEP20. So let me go ahead and hit uh, BNB real quick. They have a regular Binance coin, but for you guys, you want to get the BEP20, all right? This is a must. So go ahead and pick that one. Like I said, go ahead and hit exchange. What it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up a contract. So, so you know, you're essentially sending the amount that you guys put down, essentially right here, one Litecoin, and you're gonna get 0.29 BNB or whatever it is that you guys put down. So for this, all you guys have to do right here is uh, put in your guys' BEP20 address, all right? And that address is what you guys are gonna see right here on your guys' MetaMask. That's gonna be this guy right here, all right? So you're just gonna go ahead and hit that, clip that. You guys are gonna copy, paste. It's gonna be here. You guys are gonna create the exchange, all right? When you exchange, <clears throat> when you create the exchange, then it's gonna essentially create the contract and that's gonna tell you where to send your Litecoin. So if you guys read right here, you know it says only BSC network withdrawal supported. So essentially make sure that this is a BEP20 address, all right? And obviously if you're in the MetaMask and you guys already got, you know, Binance, you're fine. So this is, you know, the BEP20 address. So all you guys can do is hit create exchange. This is gonna bring up a contract and it's gonna ask you to basically, you know, send that and that's how it's gonna pick it up. So from here, this is your address that you're gonna send one LTC. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna copy that address. That could be BTC, it could be LTC, it could be ETH, whatever it is. Obviously for this one, it's gonna be Litecoin. You're gonna send that amount of Litecoin that you put and you're gonna copy, you're gonna go ahead and paste and that's the address, all right? From there, you're gonna go ahead and minimize real quick. And then um, the amount that you guys are going to send is up right here. So obviously that's going to be one LTC. I believe you can click on it. Yeah, you can click on it and it'll actually copy. So <laughs> I just uh, clicked on it, come back up right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. And like I said, it's going to drop that right here. Obviously, I don't have the funds for it. But um, once you have that, you're going to, you know, see a little send and you're going to send it. And that's, you know, essentially it's pretty easy. After like about, I think like 10, 20 minutes, you guys are gonna receive your guys' funds and your MetaMask, all right? So trust me what I say, man. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit weird. You guys are gonna have to trust the system, but yeah, man, trust me what I say, dude. That's how I got all my BNB. That's how I move a lot of stuff. I honestly like using Simple Swap. This is kind of what I use for ADA. It's kind of what I use for almost any new token when I, you know, I need to figure out a way to bridge funds or you know move funds around, so. Anyways, that's way number one, the most easiest way for you guys to get uh, the uh, BNB. So, like I said, way number two, if you already have, you know, another chain, let's say you guys are already on um, AVAX, all right? So let me go ahead and come over here. Let's go ahead and hit AVAX. If you're already on another chain, you guys can go ahead and come over here, hit any swap. And then what you guys are gonna do is, you guys are gonna basically gonna pick up some BNB off the AVAX chain, like off, uh, let me see. Go ahead and come over here, hit Trader Joe real quick. And then uh, from right here, from Trader Joe, you can go ahead and uh, pick up BNB. Let's say I picked up one AVAX, that's gonna be one BNB. You guys can see price impact incredibly low. So these, you know, rates are gonna be really good. And the, <clears throat> so, you know, these rates are pretty chill. And like I said, all you guys gotta do is go ahead and swap. Now you guys have some BNB. From here, all you guys have to do is go ahead and hit any swap. On the bottom you want bsc mainnet so you guys can have kind of whatever mainnet but obviously you guys are gonna want to rock bsc from here on the bottom you want this to be bsc mainnet all right so you guys are gonna essentially purchase bnb on avax and then you're gonna send it from here to the uh, bsc mainnet and that's essentially way number two for you guys to bridge bnb on over to bsc so like I said, depending on who you are, whether you know you come from the centralized exchange and you guys want to move over, you guys should go ahead and use simple swap. If you guys are already on these different chains like AVAX and Phantom and all that, you guys can definitely go ahead and use any swap. If you guys are brand new, like you guys are still new to stuff, um, I honestly would suggest that you guys go ahead and use Elk. So let me go ahead and look up Elk real quick. Elk is uh, one that I actually like to use because essentially all you have to do is you know turn your guys's avax or whatever whatever chain you guys are on on elk go ahead and take that and then uh, you guys are going to purchase some elk right here and then from here all you guys are going to do is um let's say you guys purchase like 10 or 12 elk you guys are going to hit elk net and then from here you guys are going to bridge your elk so this target chain this allows you to bridge to almost any other chain which makes it essentially the most easiest way to bridge to all these different chains the only issue is that elk has uh, some pretty crazy liquidity. So depending on what chain you're on, 
it might actually be bad to bridge over elk because when you guys you know take your elk to the other uh, chain the liquidity is too low and the price impact is too high so like i said depending on how much you guys bridge it definitely matters if you guys are bridging a small amount this will be perfect but like i said if you guys are bridging you know large amounts you guys are definitely going to want to check out simple swap or check out any swap but that's basically it for binance so if you guys still have like any questions go ahead and just uh you know hit the timestamp real quick rewatch this portion of the video so you guys understand all you guys need is the uh binance uh, wallet over here on the metamask and then from there like i said you guys just go ahead and choose your guys's method whether you guys are using simple swap because you guys are swapping something from exodus on over to bsc and um if you're not using that like i said if you're already on different chains like phantom and all that you guys can go ahead and use any swap and like i said just go ahead and purchase some bnb and then you know just go ahead and use a bridge obviously you can see right here it's highlighted so it's pretty easy and uh you know what lastly let me go ahead and bring up uh evo DeFi real quick if you already are you know on um i guess like let's say avax or on phantom <laughs> like i said let me go ahead and hit uh avax real quick and let's go ahead and hit bsc side you guys can go ahead and switch over you guys can go ahead and bridge over at usdc or usdt it's kind of the most common one and like i said you guys can go ahead and bridge over a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars and uh, from what i see where is it at? yeah their uh, bridge commission is only 0.5 percent so that's actually super low it's pretty cheap a lot of people do definitely like to use this bridge method the only problem with this method is you don't get any bnb so you know if you guys bridge over two three thousand dollars yeah, if you guys go <laughs> to the Binance side, you will have no BNB to make any transactions. So, you know, just watch out for that. But like I said, if you guys are already, you know, comfortable with using a simple swap or any swap, and uh, you guys are already on different chains, then go ahead and just use the uh, USDC method. And then go ahead and, you know, pick your guys' chain, go ahead and go to BSC side, and then go ahead and send some money over. So, like I said, <laughs> that's basically it for Binance. So, if you guys want to check out any of the other chains, go ahead and keep watching the video. All right, guys, so we're over here on the Polygon side and it's time to bridge. <laughs> and first things first, we're gonna need two chains, all right? First chain that we're gonna need is gonna be the Polygon mainnet. And the second chain that we're gonna need is gonna be the Binance. This is the one that we're gonna use to be able to do the bridge. And if you guys don't have the Binance Smart Chain, like I said, go ahead and go to the uh, timestamp with the Binance. So that way, you know, you guys can go ahead and run over there, get some funds over there and get everything ready, so. Anyways, first things up, let's come over here to Chainlist so you guys can get the Poly. Let's go ahead and uh, hit Poly. You guys, you guys will see the Polygon mainnet. All you guys got to do is hit Add a MetaMask. It's going to bring down a little option down here. It's going to tell you to add the chain to your wallet. You're going to click Yes, and you're going to click Accept. So after that, you guys are going to see that you're on the Polygon mainnet. Obviously, you're not going to have Nomadic or nothing. <laughs> but um, like I said, you guys are going to be on the Polygon mainnet. So, all right. And after you guys already got your wallet, what we're going to use is Elk. So... Essentially, what we're going to do is go ahead and come over to the swap side. We're going to make sure that we're on our Binance Smart Chain side because obviously that's where all our funds are. And we're going to come over here and we're going to purchase some out. So let me go ahead and click over here. We're going to go ahead and click this BNB. And what I'm going to do is uh, let me just go ahead and get a uh, go ahead and get 0.2 BNB real quick. Let me hit the swap. Confirm. And what we're doing is we're actually picking up elk so that way we can bridge on over so there's gonna be two ways that we're gonna do this way number one is we're gonna go ahead and bridge a small amount over here so that way like i said we can uh, have gas fees and all that stuff for uh, matic side <clears throat> all right so now that everything's good we're gonna go ahead and over here hit elk net let me go ahead and refresh this real quick sometimes that acts kind of weird but uh it is what it is target chain all right we're gonna use poly so let's go ahead and come down a polygon side and what we're going to do is we're going to essentially bridge on over all the elk that we have. But what's extremely important is us clicking this little swap elk. And the reason why that's important is because it says it right here. It's going to give us gas fee, all right? That gas fee is essentially going to be um, one whole elk worth of uh, Matic. So to be realistic with you, if you guys are already, you know, comfortable, what I would suggest is you guys get a small amount, maybe like one or two uh, elk whatever and then go ahead and do that transfer and the reason why you guys want to do that is so that way you guys can use the second method which is using evo DeFi to bridge over a bunch of usdc and like i said i believe the you know the bridge fee is like 0.5 percent so it's super cheap 
So like I said, you know, what we're going to do is going to use Elk so that way you guys can go ahead and bridge, transfer over real quick, hit that transfer. Down here, you know, I have a whole bunch of uh, transfers that I've already done, but like I said, I'm just going to show it to you guys. After you guys hit that transfer, you guys are going to sit and wait. It's going to sit down here and it's just going to be sitting until it says completed. All right. After it says that it's completed, you guys are going to come down here. You guys are going to switch to your uh, polygon. And from here, you guys are going to see that you should have a small amount of Matic because they switched one elk for your gas fee. So you guys should have a, a small amount of Matic. And then um, you guys should most likely have nothing right here. You guys won't see anything. All right. But it doesn't matter. All we're going to do is come over here to hit swap. Now that you know we're over here on the polygon side, your guys' elk should appear right here. So you guys will see like it'll say uh, whatever two elk or three elk, however much it is that you guys purchased. And then down here, you guys can go ahead and pick your guys' uh, Matic and then just swap all of it. So that way you guys have more Matic. Once you guys are done with that, like I said, we're going to use method number two, which is essentially coming over here using Evil DeFi. Um, once again, you guys are going to go back to you guys' uh, Binance because that's what we're using to fund everything. And then um, you guys are going to go ahead and switch over here. Uh, let's click uh, in Binance. We're going to click Binance. From here, you guys are going to go ahead and pick Poly. And then um, on Poly, like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, send over USDC. So you guys can go ahead and send over two, three, four thousand. I believe uh, three thousand something or maybe four thousand dollars is the limit. Um, I normally, you know, I just send like twenty five hundred at a time or three grand at a time. So, yeah, I normally don't always hit the limit. But like I said, I believe like four grand might be the limit. Kind of depends on everything. So anyways, this is method number two to be able to bridge funds over to Matic. Just understand that that little bonus 0.02 Matic sometimes isn't enough. So like I said, make sure you guys use the little elk trick so that way you guys can swap over a little bit of elk. And then, um, yeah, go ahead and, you know, bridge the rest of your funds. So like I said, it's super easy to go ahead and bridge over to Poly. Um, yeah, hopefully this helped. And um, like I said, all you guys need is to have the Binance Smart Chain because that's what you guys are going to be funding your Poly side with. That's what's number one and number <clears throat> that's what's number one and most important. And then, like I said, all you guys need is your little Matic side. And then, you know, just go ahead and uh, do a uh, step by step, you know, grab a little bit out to make sure you guys have enough for the gas fees. And then all the rest should be uh, USDC. So if you guys don't know how to get USDC, it's, uh, you know, super easy. All you have to do is just go ahead and look up uh, pancake swap real quick while you guys are in Binance. From here, you guys just going to click on the bottom. You guys going to pick uh, USDC or uh, USDT. And then, um, yeah, like I said, just go ahead and purchase however many you guys want, you know, purchase a thousand bucks of that and then come over here to Evo DeFi and then go ahead and, you know, bridge it on over. So, like I said, <laughs> super easy to uh, bridge on over to uh, Poly and um, yeah, that's basically it. So, but um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions or anything, just go ahead and uh, hit the timestamp real quick. Rewatch the video one more time. It's super easy. Like I said, all you guys need is just the, you know, chains on your wallet. And then from there, just go ahead and bridge from the Binance side. So. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys want to check out the rest of the video, go ahead and check out the rest of the chains. All right, guys. So, if you guys want to bridge to Ethereum. Damn, and y'all must be rich. <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside, first things first, what we're going to need is just for you guys to get that uh, Binance Smart uh, chain in your wallet. And then um, from there, like I said, uh, Ethereum should already be here. So, you don't even have to worry about that. That should <laughs> That's basically default. Um, like I said, all you need is the Binance one. All right, so go ahead and do that first And then like I said get funds over on your Binance side If you don't have any funds on Binance side check out the timestamp on the Binance so You guys can see how to bridge stuff over yada yada, but anyways <laughs> After you guys already got the Binance wallet super simple All we got to do is head over to simple swap what We're gonna go ahead and do is uh, we're gonna start a new exchange on the top You guys are gonna go ahead and pick uh, BNB and what you guys are gonna use is these BEP 20 BNB, all right? From here on the bottom, you guys are gonna go ahead and pick ETH. And then, uh, like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, hit whatever the little minimum is so I can show you guys how to do it. So, all you guys are gonna do is essentially hit the exchange. Once you guys hit exchange, it's gonna ask for the Ethereum address that you guys are dropping off. So, like I said, super simple. Come down over here, hit your uh, address, hit your Ethereum mainnet address. From right here, hit the clipboard. And then go ahead and hit the little paste so that way you guys go ahead and paste your guys' account. Over here, you guys are gonna create exchange, all right? So essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna send the smart chain BSC side and it's gonna send it over to your Ethereum mainnet. 
and like I said it's super easy you know so you know you shouldn't have any issues with this so essentially all you got to do is right here this deposit address you guys are gonna copy that right here you guys are gonna go up to your guys's um, actual you know BNB side over here let's go ahead and click on back from this BNB side right here you guys are gonna send this this is the BEP 20 BNB all right so we're gonna go ahead and click send we're gonna go ahead and paste the address this is the address that I just copied right now click paste I'm gonna go ahead and verify the first five. This looks like seven F eight. This also looks like seven F eight. So we should be fine. And like I said, we're gonna send this 0.15. So we're gonna go ahead and send that on over. We'll go ahead and click next. And um, yeah, it's basically it. So essentially what this is gonna do is, this is gonna pick up the uh, BNB. It's gonna send it to a contract, which is gonna exchange it to ETH. And then that's gonna send that amount of ETH to this recipient address so like i said you know it's super easy nothing crazy um <laughs> most likely you know it's gonna kind of take about uh like i said 10 20 minutes and then once it's done it's done you can go ahead and go back to you guys as a uh, ethereum account go ahead and click over here um go ahead and log back into eth and then you guys will notice that you guys will have that amount of eth it's gonna be sitting right here so you know what we'll do is go ahead and fast forward to when i pick everything up <laughs> it should be all right all right guys so we're back <laughs> it actually moved pretty quickly um you know it is what it is i guess binance smart chain is pretty dope so anyways here's the exchange id this is exactly what happened like i said we sent 0 0.5 0 0.15 bnb and um that came right to our eth account so if i come over here hit up at the top and uh, we look up at our eth mainnet i do have the 0.0198 ETH. so yeah man super easy to be able to bridge on over to eth like i said um ethereum yeah it's pretty expensive so hope you guys have some big money if you guys are going over there but yeah i mean it's super easy so just go ahead and use a uh, simple swap and you guys will be all right but um <laughs> yeah that's basically it for eth so yeah if you guys want to check out the rest of the chains go ahead and keep watching the video all right guys so we're over here on harmony and it's time to bridge so first things first you guys already know the deal we got to go ahead and get the uh harmony uh smart chain and then you guys can also need the binance smart chain obviously we're going to be funding everything with our binance smart chain so so obviously that's the most important and then like i said we're going to be bridging to harmony so you're definitely going to need a harmony all right so just come over here to chain list look up harmony and then go ahead and click add to metamask all right after you guys click add a metamask a little uh, you know indicator will pop down go ahead and accept say yes and then you'll go ahead and have harmony from there you're gonna switch back to binance because like i said that's what we're gonna use so um from here <laughs> damn man i wish <clears throat> so once you guys are over here we'll go ahead and switch on over to elk decks and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be purchasing elk over here on binance and then we're gonna be using um that to be able to move on over to harmony so like i said right now that's kind of the easiest way most cost effective as well as the second way that i'll show you but um yeah that's kind of the easiest way to bridge on over so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go over real quick just come over here to the swap side like i said we're going to be in our binance side and then um over here on the top we're going to have our bnb and then we're going to go ahead and purchase that elk so as you guys can see i already went ahead and got some it's pretty easy just go ahead and you know put whatever uh, amount you guys want it'll go ahead and drop down go ahead and confirm once you guys confirm we're going to come over here we're going to hit elk net all right elk net is what we're going to use like i said to go ahead and switch on over so target chain is going to be harmony from here this is what's important right you have to click this box <laughs> people always forget that all right but you have to click this so you're gonna go ahead and click this right here you're gonna swap this uh one elk basically for as much gas and harmony that's gonna give you so so essentially you know you're just gonna go ahead and put a uh, whatever amount that you guys are gonna go ahead and swap on over like let's say you're just gonna do five or whatever and then you go ahead and hit transfer from here you guys are just gonna sit back and you guys are gonna wait all right I've obviously, you know, used this to <laughs> bridge almost everything on over. So, like I said, you know, it's kind of the easiest way. From here, after about, like, say, five or ten minutes, even if you don't get any confirmation or anything, what you guys are going to do is switch back to Harmony, all right? So, you guys can come over here, hit the Harmony. Uh, mine is called Ham1. And then, um, from here, you should see, you know, a, a, maybe, like, whatever small amount of uh, one that you got from the uh, swap. And then um, you shouldn't see no elk or nothing, okay? So you're just gonna go over here, you're gonna hit the swap, super easy. The elk should appear right here. So whatever it is that you swapped up should appear right here. And then like I said, just go ahead and uh, the bottom, go ahead and pick one, wrap one, whatever it is you guys are gonna use. And then um, just go ahead and you know sell it all off so that we guys have more one. And like I said, that's basically the easiest way to uh, bridge over 
it's kind of like the only way there are a few other ways but it's just a little too complicated and like i said this whole point of the video is for you guys to have easy ways to bridge to every single chain so like i said just go ahead and use uh, your guys's binance go ahead and jump into elk decks pick up elk then go ahead and use elk net to be able to actually switch from the uh, bsc side over to your harmony side and then um yeah like i said just go ahead and uh, switch on back um then you guys go ahead and sell off the elk and then sell it all off to one so yeah it's a pretty easy system it's not really that hard like i said all you guys gotta do is just essentially just pick up elk from <clears throat> All you guys gotta do is just you know be on your binance side go ahead and pick up elk and then just go ahead and bridge on over so like i said it's super easy <laughs> you guys need to watch the video real quick again just hit the little timestamp. um you know it's super easy just go ahead and you know pick up bnb pick up some elk from there use elk net to be able to send the amount of elk you want over to the uh, harmony chain and then like i said this box right here super important you need to hit that right that's <laughs> super important right you can even do like uh, let's say you're gonna send 20 you can do 10 hit that box transfer send another 10 hit that box transfer you know it is what it is obviously for harmony it's not a big deal gas is super cheap but for other um uh, you know chains yeah that might be needed so but <laughs> like i said anyways that's it for uh bridge into harmony super easy if you guys need to rewatch anything, like I said, just hit the uh, timestamp, rewatch it, and uh, you guys should be fine. So, if you guys want to check out any of the other chain, just go ahead and continue watching the video. Alright guys, so, we're over here trying to bridge to Phantom. <laughs> first things first, you guys already know the deal. We're going to be uh, funding everything with our Binance Smart Chain. So, make sure you guys go ahead and get the Binance Smart Chain running. Make sure you guys get the funds in first. Then after that, like I said, all you guys need to do is come over here, hit Chain List. Look up Phantom. This is going to be Phantom Opera. Add a MetaMask. After you guys click add a MetaMask, this little uh, thing will come on down. Um, it'll, you know, just go ahead and accept, say yes, and then you guys will have the Phantom. So once that's done, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to use Elk. So if you guys remember uh, for anything else, Elk is kind of what I use for, um, you know, certain chains that I can't use any swap or, you know, like simple swap for, I'll use Elk. And what you guys can do is if you guys are you know have some big bags you guys can use elk just to make sure you guys get some gas over and then also use evil DeFi. so i'll explain that right now real quick but first things first what we're gonna do is like always <laughs> we're gonna be in our binance account we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pick up some elk all right so go ahead and use your bnb or whatever you guys have and then pick up some elk once you guys have some elk we're gonna click on elk net from over here we're just gonna come on down let me hit the refresh real quick I don't want to act funny. <laughs> we're going to hit target chain, all right? The target chain is obviously <laughs> Phantom. So we're going to click Phantom up here. And like I said, this is super important. You got to hit that box, all right? So go ahead and go ahead and hit that box. So that way it'll swap one elk that you guys are sending over for a gas fee of uh, Phantom. It's essentially going to send over one elk uh, worth into phantom so like let's say one elk is worth like three phantom or something that's essentially what it's going to send over so definitely make sure you guys hit that box go ahead and send over whatever it is that you guys are going to send and then go ahead and hit transfer after you guys hit transfer you guys can see you know i've done a whole bunch so you know it's no big deal you guys are just going to wait around usually what i like to do is i just go ahead and click up up here at the top um like i said after you guys already did the transfer Go ahead and uh switch on over to you guys as phantom for me mine is called uh spooky <laughs> and um yeah just go ahead and switch on over hit the swap over here and like i said your guys's elk should appear right here even though you don't see any confirmations and if you guys click down over here even if you guys don't see any elk or anything right here like i said it should still appear right here all right so once it appears right here, all you guys got to do is just go ahead and sell the uh, elk into more phantom. And that's basically it. You guys bridged um, your guys' BNB funds over to phantom. So, so you know, it's obviously super easy. But like I said, way number two, you guys come over here. All right, you guys can hit Evo DeFi. So this is essentially saying that you already have gas fee. All right, so that means you've already did the elk. You guys got some phantom gas fee. And essentially, you know, you guys got like three, four grand that you guys want to bridge over. But you don't want to get hit by the elk uh, price impact so go ahead and come over here i like to use uh, evo DeFi. obviously you guys are going to go from bsc and um we're going to pick up uh some phantom so we're going to come over here target chain is going to be phantom and obviously we're going to send over our usdc so you would go ahead and send over 
you know, two, three K. Let's go ahead and um hit three K. Oh, I'm not even gonna show it. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I guess I'm broke. So, anyways, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna go ahead and send over whatever amount it is, and they're gonna charge you 0.5. Let me erase this. Yeah, right here. So they're gonna charge you 0.5 percent. So. You know, it's not that bad and um, like I said if you already have phantom you should be fine it does say right here that they're gonna send you a little point one phantom but to be realistic with you right now phantom it's pretty crazy the, the chain can get super congested at times and you could be paying anywhere from point two to point four to point eight phantom all right so like I said you know make sure you guys are using elk first to be able to get a little bit of the uh, phantom and then go ahead and use evo d5 for the rest but um, yeah, that's essentially Phantom. So like I said, man, it's super easy to go ahead and bridge over. If you guys have any uh, second questions, just go ahead and rewatch this little part. Go ahead and hit the timestamp. Like I said, it's super easy. You're just going to be using your Binance to, to be able to fund the bridge. Obviously, you're just going to be picking up some Elk, switching it on over using ElkNet because that's what's going to send it from the, your uh, Binance wallet side to the uh, whatever target chain side is. And obviously, our target chain is going to be Phantom. So like I said, you know, super easy. You guys can see I've done it a bunch of times with all the rest. So, yeah, that's basically it for Phantom. If you guys want to check out any of the other chains, go ahead and just keep watching the video. All right. So it's AVAX time. I know you guys want to bridge AVAX. So first things first, make sure you guys have the Binance Smart Chain already going. Make sure you guys have your funds already in here. So like I said, we're going to be using Binance to be able to fund our Avalanche. There's actually another way to fund it. And like I said, you know, um, this is kind of the easiest way if you guys are used to that. If not, if you guys come from a centralized exchange, go ahead and check out the centralized exchange portion, which is uh, which is the uh, how to bridge straight from centralized exchange into DeFi wallets. Look up that section because I actually go over Coinbase and actually show you guys how to essentially how I just buy um, Avalanche from Coinbase from there. And then I just send it straight over here. So. So, you know, if you guys are doing that, if you guys are from Crypto.com or you guys are on Coinbase or anything else, go ahead and check that out. But no matter what, before you guys do that, you guys need to have the Avalanche uh, wallet as well. So what you guys are going to do is come over here, hit the chain list, look up AVAX. And you don't want this first one. You want this one right here, Avalanche Mainnet. Go ahead and click add to MetaMask. Once again, you know, the MetaMask will come down. It'll tell you to add it. It'll show you everything. Click yes. And then you're basically done with that. So to be able to fund this like i said if you guys want to do the centralized exchange way go ahead and check that out super easy but for everyone else we're going to be using our binance to be able to fund this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come down over here we're going to use elknet from elknet we're going to go ahead and purchase some elknet obviously we're going to use uh, bnb pick up some elk and then um, from here we're going to hit elknet and then we're going to essentially use target chain and we're going to send it to avalanche all right so like I said, it's super easy. If you guys come down here, you guys can see I've already sent a bunch to from Avalanche, all that stuff. So super easy, all right? If you guys are gonna do a big bag, I would honestly suggest that you guys only use, you know, a small amount. Hit the, um, let, me, let me come over here. Let me just hit like five or whatever. Go ahead and swap that one elk for gas. And the rest, you guys are gonna wanna use Evo D5. So Evo D5, go ahead and click, um, obviously the top is gonna be BSC side. The second one is gonna be Avalanche. And obviously, like I always tell you guys, we're always usually going to use USDC and it's only going to take 0.5%. So if you guys are doing two, three thousand dollars, whatever it is, go ahead and use that. All right. A lot of people use Evo DeFi. <laughs> I use it, especially if I'm going to send like three, four grand, because to be realistic with you, Elk, yeah, the price impact and everything is kind of insane. So you kind of don't really want to, you know, pick up big bags of Elk. So if you guys, you know, want to be able to be cost effective, go ahead and use both methods. So like I said, you know, this is probably like the easiest ways. It's just, uh, you know, running these two, you guys should be fine. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, like I said, just go ahead and rewatch the video real quick. Super easy. We're just using our Binance account to fund this. And um, essentially, you're going to be using Elk and you're going to be doing the little Elk swap for gas. So that way you guys can guarantee you guys have some avalanche to be able to pay for the gas fees. After you guys, you know, you guys maybe done this once or twice to make sure that you guys have enough for gas fees. The rest, like I said, just go ahead and um, pick up a bunch of USDC and then bridge that over. So obviously it's super easy. You guys can use both methods and um, you guys should be fine. So that's basically it for AVAX. If you guys want to check out any of the other chains, go ahead and check out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge the Kronos. <laughs> super easy. 
and um, let's just get started. So first things first, like I said, with everything, man, we're going to be uh, funding this with our Binance Smart Chain account. So go ahead and first get that Binance Smart Chain account running. Make sure you guys have it funded. And after that, super easy. Just come over here to chainlist.org. Go ahead and look up Chronos. And then right here, this Chronos mainnet, this is what you guys want to do. You want to hit add to MetaMask. After clicking add to MetaMask, the little fox icon will come down. And then he'll tell you, you know, you want to add the new network. You're going to say yes, yada, yada. So once you guys are done with that, super easy. We're going to come over here to, to Alpdex. And uh, essentially, we're going to pick up some Elk. So obviously, I already have some. But for you guys, you know, all you guys got to do is, you know, have some BNB or whatever it is at the top. Go ahead and pick whatever amount that you guys want to pick up. And then go ahead and pick up some Elk. From here, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, Alknet. Go ahead and refresh that real quick. We're going to pick our target chain. So obviously our target chain is Kronos. So you're going to go ahead and pick Kronos. You also have to hit this little box. This is super important, all right? So <laughs> trust me when I say, man, this is super important, all right? But besides all that, make sure you guys put in whatever it is that you guys have. Like let's say five Elk or whatever. You guys should be all right. On the bottom, you guys can see that there's an extra little fee, all right? That's because Kronos chain is a little crazy. So, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to use two methods to be able to, you know, be cost effective. So, you guys going to essentially get a little bit of elk, pick up the uh, Kronos, send it on over. And then from there, you guys can go ahead and, um, you know, do the second method. So, like I said, you guys going to pick up the uh, elk over here on the Kronos. It's going to be super easy. It's going to send it on over. From here, you guys are going to go ahead and um, once the little transfer is complete, you guys are going to pick you guys' chronos. From there, you guys are just going to hit swap over here. Super easy. You guys don't even have to wait or nothing. And then um, your elk should appear right here. All right. Even if it doesn't appear in your wallet, whatever, as long as the uh, transaction confirmed and everything's cool, it'll appear right here. So after you guys have it right here, go ahead and pick crow and then go ahead and basically hit max and sell everything off into crow and that's basically it that's the easiest way to bridge over as long as you guys press the little box you guys should have some fee some uh, gas fee you know for the little transactions so you guys should be okay after utilizing this method to make sure that you guys have you know enough gas fee you guys can come over here and then and uh, you know use evo defi so evo defi we're gonna go ahead and switch back to our bsc account let me uh click up here at the top and then what we're going to do is essentially pick up a bunch of uh, USDC over here on BNB side. And we're going to pick our target chain, which is going to be Krona. There's uh, Kronos right here. And then, like I said, we're going to use USDC. And that's essentially what we're going to send over. So if you were going to send over two, three grand, honestly, I would tell you guys that you guys should definitely use this one. You guys see here at the bottom, they are <laughs> basically charging you one extra dollar plus a little 0.5%. But like I said, it is what it is. Kronos, uh, the chain is pretty expensive, so, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, but luckily, you know, like it says right here, they do send you to Crow, so, yeah, that's kind of cool, but, like I said, you know, you're definitely going to want to be using the Elknet one, so that way you guys can for sure have enough for the gas fees, and, um, yeah, you guys should be fine, so. That's basically it, those are <laughs> the easiest ways to be able to bridge on over, like I said, just go ahead and use Elknet to be able to get, you know, just enough for, uh, the chronos so that way you know you guys should have enough for gas fees and then all the rest two thousand three thousand whatever it is amount go ahead and use uh evo defi for that so yeah that's basically it and um <laughs> like i said if you have any questions just go ahead and rewatch the little part of the video it's super easy you shouldn't be confused um like i said just wait on the alchemy to be done once it's done just go ahead and switch on over to uh your guys's chronos and just sit here and wait for it to pop up once it pops up go ahead and sell you guys will be all right so that's basically it for Kronos. <laughs> if you guys want to check out any other chains go ahead and check out the rest of the video all right guys so we're over here trying to bridge the moon river so first things first like always we're gonna need that binance smart chain because that's what we're gonna use to fund everything after you guys have that binance smart chain go ahead and come over here hit chainlist.org you're gonna look up moon so we can get moon river click add a metamask when you hit click add a metamask you're going to see this it's going to run on down just approve go ahead and switch network <clears throat> and then uh, you guys can see right here well after this moves out let me go ahead and move back on up real quick you guys will see that you guys have the little moon river everything's ready to go but obviously we need to go back to our binance because like i said we're going to be funding everything with binance all right so if you guys didn't check out the binance video go ahead and <clears throat> If you guys didn't check out the Binance uh, section of the video, go ahead and uh, backtrack, hit the timestamp, 
check out the Binance section so that way you guys can see how to fund everything and get everything ready. So once you guys are already done, you guys have everything. What we're going to be using is Elk Decks. All right. So we're going to come down over here. We're going to be uh, purchasing some Elk. You're obviously using our BNB or whatever it is. And then you guys are going to purchase, you know, like 5, 10 Elk, whatever it is you guys want to go ahead and bridge on over. So after you guys purchase Elk, you guys are going to hit Elk Neck. All right. Elknet uh, is essentially what we're going to use to bridge from BSC side and we're going to get the funds on over to Moon River. So we're going to go ahead over here, target chain. We're going to go ahead and look for Moon River. Click on that and then we're going to click this box right here. Swap elk one for gas. So essentially what they're going to do is take one of these elk, sell it off, turn it into Moon River. So that way you guys have some kind of, you know, gas fee for it, um, <laughs> the Moon River. Because obviously all these chains... They all have gas fees for your transactions, so that's essentially what you need. So, so what I'm essentially gonna do is just hit a uh, little two uh, elk, so I can go ahead and transfer that on over to Moon River, so you guys can see how that runs. Hopefully, this is uh, pretty quick. And then um, while we wait for this to confirm and go ahead and finish, I'll go ahead and show you, you know, method number two. So, <laughs> what you guys can do is go ahead and uh, pick up a bunch of uh, USDC on the obviously on your Binance side. And obviously, you know, you might have two thousand, three thousand dollars and, um, you know, you guys don't want to get hit by price impact from elk and stuff. So I understand you guys can go ahead and just, you know, use Evo DeFi. So if you guys have two, three grand, whatever it is, um, they're only going to take that 0.5% for the commission. So like I said, you know, this is going to be the best way. However, they do give you a little bit of, um, you know, um, Moon River for the actual transaction fees, but sometimes it's not enough. So like I said, just Pay attention to that. You might want to do the elk decks like I just did. You might want to do that first so that way you guys get enough over there on the opposite side. And then once you guys have that, then go ahead and, you know, bridge over the two, three thousand, four thousand, whatever it is that you guys want to bridge. So um, <clears throat> that's uh, basically it. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm not really going to bridge any USDC over here because there's no point. But I do want to show you guys the uh, elk net part. So obviously we got five, right? Twenty five right here. I sent two over. And um, what it's going to do is it's going to be processing and it's going to go ahead and um, do that. And uh, once it's done, <laughs> like you just uh, saw right now, it's going to be completed. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and just move on back to Moon River. Let me uh, find, yeah, here it is right here up at the top. And um, essentially, it's going to give us a small amount of Moon River, which is what you, we just saw right here. Now we have 0 0.0357. And um, you're not going to see your assets right here, but that's not important. No one cares. <laughs> especially me i don't care so anyways we're gonna hit swap as you guys can see right here that one elk since you know i already i only bridged over two one of them got turned into moon river already the uh, other one you know sitting right here i'm gonna go ahead and hit that max hit that sell we're gonna go ahead and approve and um that's essentially it so, you know it's not a big deal whatever but um that's <laughs> essentially how you guys are gonna bridge your guys' funds over from um elk <clears throat> from Binance over here and like I said this whole point of using elk and all that is just to make sure that you guys get the uh, transaction fees so sometimes certain um, chains get congested and yeah transaction fees go crazy so you might not actually get enough for the transaction fees and <laughs> I'm looking at Phantom I'm looking at Polygon yeah you guys know what's up BNB sometimes too gets crazy so anyways that's it um, <laughs> super easy to be able to bridge on over to Moon River so, you know, if you guys have any questions still, like I said, just rewatch the video real quick. Check out the little timestamp so you can rewatch it. It's super easy. It's quick. You know, just go ahead and come over here. Like I said, you guys can move whatever uh, amount is that you guys want over here on this side. You guys can see, you know, the uh, fees. It's pretty cheap. It's not really that crazy. But, um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, right? So, anyways, so anyways, like I said, you guys have Elk. And then you guys can go ahead and use Evo DeFi for larger amounts. Um, once you guys already have the gas fees, go ahead and use Evo DeFi and you guys should be fine. So anyways, that's uh, how to bridge the Moon River. Super easy, like I said. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys want to check out any of the other chains, go ahead and feel free to check out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge to Arbitrum. <laughs> First things first, you guys already know what's up. You guys can definitely need that Binance Smart Chain. That's what we're going to be using to fund everything. Once you guys already have the Binance Smart Chain up, you guys already have it funded and everything, all you guys got to do is hit up Chain List, look up ARB, and we're going to be picking this one right here. It says Arbitrum 1. You guys are going to hit Add a MetaMask. Um, it's going to come down. It's going to tell you, you know, to add the network and all that. You guys are going to say yes, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> From there, what you guys are going to do is come over here. 
like an Evo DeFi, all right? You guys are gonna pick up some USDC over there on Binance Smart Chain. Obviously, you guys should know how to do that. You guys are gonna be using PancakeSwap to do that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send to Arbitrum. So typically, if you guys are gonna send like a um, thousand or two thousand, I would recommend you know at least breaking it up in two. So like if you're doing a thousand, send five hundred, and then send another five hundred. If you guys are doing two thousand, like I said, you know, send five hundred, send a thousand, maybe send another five hundred, whatever. And the only reason why you want to do that, like I said, is so that way you guys can get enough of the actual little uh, ETH that you guys are going to use to actually, you know, pay for all the little um, transactions and stuff. So just, you know, pay attention to that and you guys should be all right. So as long as you guys do that, you guys will be cool. Everything will be fine. Like I said, this is kind of the only way to bridge, at least the easiest way for me. And um, like I said, I usually there's really no farms on Arbitrum, but sometimes, you know, there's something. So... I always have to run over there check it out i like to bridge this is what i use i just bridge over you know about a thousand bucks and i usually do uh 500 500 and then once i'm on arbitrum i'll go ahead and um you know swap on over to make sure i have a little bit extra on the gas fees and that's about it you know i'll go ahead and um, check out the farms if they suck then <laughs> it is what it is man i sell off and then uh yeah i just basically bridge back so it's the exact same thing but um yeah on this one we really don't have the elk you don't have nothing else to really run there is a way to use any swap and stuff like that, but to be realistic with you, the easiest and best way is to just do it right here using USDC. So just pick that up on Binance. And like I said, just split it up in two and you guys should be fine. So anyways, that's it for Arbitrum. Super quick, super easy. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, like I said, just go ahead and rewatch it real quick. But um, yeah, that's basically it. So this is your best bridge to be able to use over. And like I said, just split it up into two. You guys should be fine. If you guys want to check out any of the other chains, feel free to keep checking out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge over to the OKEx chain and um, super easy. So uh, obviously, first things first, you guys are going to need the Binance Smart Chain because that's what we're going to be funding everything with. So like I said, just go ahead and check out that Binance. Go ahead and check out the Binance section, you know, get up to speed, get everything funded. And then, um, yeah, head on back. Afterwards, just hit chain list. All right, we're gonna be looking up OKE, and this is the main net that you want. All right, so it's the OKE chain main net. All right, <laughs> we all call it OKEX, and it is what it is. So, anyways, some people call it OKE, but um, yeah, you're gonna hit add a MetaMask. After that, it's gonna pop on down. You're gonna accept, say yes, and you guys are ready to go. So, from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use Eldex. All right, so <laughs> you guys have been watching any of the other little uh, you know, bridge parts, you guys are already familiar. What we're going to do is we're going to use our Binance Smart Chain. We're going to go ahead and use our BNB, pick up some Elk. And um, essentially all we're going to do is we're going to bridge this Elk on over to the other side. So like I said, what we're going to do is use ElkNet. Um, <laughs> super easy. Let me go ahead and refresh this real quick. Um, just click down here, target chain, and we're looking for OKEX. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and hit this box right here. Super important, right? This is essentially going to swap one elk for OKEX and gas token. <clears throat> it's essentially going to swap one elk for OKEX. So essentially, you guys are going to need some kind of gas token. You guys are going to need the actual token, you know, to pay for the gas fees and stuff. So this actually does it at the same time. So that way, you know, you have enough to be able to do the swap and do all that. So like I said, for beginners, this is what we're going to do. And um, like I said, for me right here, I'm just going to go ahead and you know, hit two. We're going to go ahead and hit transfer so you guys can see it all in process. Um, hopefully it's quick, just like the rest. And um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyways, from here, all you guys got to do is wait for it to complete. Um, once it pops off, you'll see it right here. It'll say initiated. It'll say processing. And then once it's done, it'll say completed. So as soon as it's uh, completed, you know, we'll come back, whatever. But um, for right now, we'll go ahead and go over, you know, method number two. So after you've already, you know, got um, some... <laughs> OKEx on the other chain, you guys are fine with gas fees. You guys can come over here and then use your BSC side, pick up a whole bunch of USDC, like two, th you know, like two grand, three grand, whatever it is that you guys have, you know, the big bags, five grand. And essentially, you're going to bring it right here. And this is how you guys are going to do the uh, bridge. So the reason why you're doing that is because the 0.5%, uh, you know, commission off that bridge is super cheap. And to be realistic, um, it's a lot cheaper than doing everything through Elk and then kind of losing out on the price impact so like i said once you guys have already you know round one or two little guys on elk so that way you guys for sure have enough for your guys' gas fees then just go ahead and run this over here you'll be all right so 
let me go ahead and move on back uh, we can see that it completed so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and swap on over to the uh okex chain and um like i said it should already have yeah so it already has some okex right here and under assets you won't see nothing else i don't care no one cares all right <laughs> Let's just go ahead and hit the swap and we come over here. You guys can see that one little elk is sitting right there. All right. So we got the little uh, OKT that we already grabbed and now we have that little elk. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell that off. Go ahead and hit max, approve, swap. And um, essentially that's it. So now that we have enough for the uh, gas fees and everything, I can go ahead and send over a thousand, two thousand dollars over here using Evo DeFi. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, <laughs> Essentially, anything you guys see over here on the elk net, uh, let me uh, move back real quick. Everything you guys see on the elk net is essentially the same. So if there's anything else extra you guys want to check out, go ahead and do that. But um, if, <laughs> if you guys see it on the little video, just check out the timestamps and, uh, you know, I go over everything. So anyways, that's it for uh, OKEx. If you guys have any questions, like I said, just check over this part real quick again. Super easy. Um, all you guys got to do is, like I said, just have your Binance account funded. And then that's basically it. You guys can just start um, <laughs> bridging and funding everything. So if you guys want to check out anything else out, feel free to check out the rest of the video so you can check out the rest of the chains. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge to over here to Aura. And um, Aurora is pretty chill. It's going to be exactly like everything else. So all you're going to need is that Binance Smart Chain wallet. Just like I said, just make sure you guys are on the Binance Smart Chain network. Let's go ahead and move on over. And then, um, like I said, make sure you guys have your funds already funded. Make sure everything's okay. You know, obviously, check out the portion of the video that, that um, you know, covers Binance. And you guys will see how to fund everything, yada, yada. So, all right. And once you guys have that done, all we're going to do is use a multi-chain. And essentially, we're going to be using BSC to be able to bridge over to Aura. So, super easy. What we're going to use is AVAX. And so, what obviously I'm going to have right here is multi-chain. It's essentially the same as any swap, except, you know, you guys can hit the little multi-chain uh, link up here. So that'll, that'll move you over on this side. Over here, it's super easy. Like I said, all, all you guys got to do is just pick up a little bit of AVAX on the BSC side and then just go ahead and bridge. As you guys can see right here, it's basically one on one. It's super easy. There's really nothing crazy. All the stuff down here is just basically all the stuff down here is kind of letting you know what happens and how it goes. So. Right now, Aurora doesn't have any transaction fees. So essentially what you guys send over, once you guys are in Aurora, you guys can, you know, choose a wanna swap or whatever. And you guys can go ahead and swap your AVAX into more Aurora or, uh, you know, into Nier. So essentially that's all you guys got to do. Super easy. This is what we use to bridge. Like I said, it's multi-chain. So it's super easy. Just go ahead and pick up some AVAX on the BSC side. If you don't know how to do that, super easy. We'll just come over here real quick. We'll look up uh, Ape Swap. And uh, here it is right here. So on Ape Swap, just go ahead and hit uh, your, you know, BNB up at the top and then go ahead and pick AVAX right here at the bottom. So, so, you know, super easy. Just go ahead and pick up some AVAX. And then, like I said, come down over here to multi-chain and then go ahead and swap that AVAX over to Aurora. Once you guys are in Aurora, go ahead and uh, hit Wanna Swap. Let me uh, look that up for you guys real quick. Yeah, here it is right here. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and uh, switch network real quick. And then from here, all you guys got to do is... <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, take that AVAX and then uh, essentially, you know, switch it to more Aurora or whatever it is you guys want. So, yeah, it's basically uh, that easy. You know, all you guys got to do, like I said, is just use Binance to be able to move stuff over. And that's basically it. Just got to figure out what you guys can bridge and yeah, just run with it. So that's basically it. So if you guys still have any questions or anything, just go ahead and re check over the little part again. You know, like I said, it's super easy. Just look over it real quick. And um, yeah, man, if you guys want to check out any of the other chains, Feel free to check out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge to Solana. First things up, it's going to be a little bit different than all the rest, which is kind of why it's in the back. Which is kind of why it's in the end of the video with Cardano. So first things up, I'm going to need you guys to get this Phantom wallet, right? Go ahead, add a Chrome. This is the Phantom wallet you guys are going to be picking up. And um, like I said, just go ahead and get that first. Do everything you guys got to do, all right? That'll bring down this little Phantom wallet right here, and that's kind of what we're going to use. So, hold up. Let me uh, jump in real quick. All right, and as you guys can see, you know, I have an empty wallet. <laughs> Obviously, the market's crazy. So, yeah, I mean, we had to sell off everything, and it is what it is. So, anyways, this is what you guys are going to use as you guys have Solana wallet. This is essentially the wallet that's going to interact with all the dApps and everything. So, um, all you guys got to... <clears throat> So, like I said, 
Once you guys already have this, then we're ready to go. So what we're going to use is simple swap, all right? So let me go ahead and uh, move back real quick. So essentially, if you guys, you know, saw the basics uh, portion of the video and everything, you guys already know that you guys um, can have Exodus. So hopefully you guys, you know, bridged over your funds from your centralized exchanges into Exodus. So if you have BTC, Litecoin, whatever it is, that's what you're going to use. You guys can go ahead and come over here, put your BTC right here. And then on this side, we'll go ahead and look up Soul. And then uh, there's right here Solana. So let's uh, let's just say that you have a uh, Litecoin, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and send over Litecoin to Sol. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, minimum real quick. We're gonna go ahead and click Exchange. And right here, all we're gonna do is hit our uh, address. So we're gonna pick up the Phantom Wallet, which we're at. This is our address right here. We're gonna hit that address. We're gonna come over here, and we're just gonna paste that. And then essentially, as soon as we hit the create exchange, what it's going to do is it's going to create a contract. So that way we can send this amount of Litecoin to this address. And essentially, it's going to send us back this amount of soul and it's going to send it to this address, which is our Phantom wallet. So it's pretty simple. That's essentially how I got, you know, all my funds in. And um, yeah, it's as easy as that. So this is basically the easiest way to bridge. So like I said, what you guys can do is um, either, you know, from your Exodus, use BTC, Litecoin, all of that. Or if you guys, you know, are like me, you guys can come over here and we're going to hit BNB. And you guys are going to use your BEP20, all right? So the same thing we've been doing with everything else. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use our um, Binance Smart Chain to be able to uh, pick that up. So it's just as basically the same thing. We're just going to use our BNB, which is uh, what we have up here on our MetaMask. Let me uh, move back real quick. It'll be this one right here. This is essentially what we're going to send. So we can go ahead and send, you know, one BNB over to Seoul. And it's going to be the same thing, all right? It's going to come down here. It's going to ask us for our Solana address. So we're going to go ahead and so we're going to go ahead and paste our Solana address. We're going to hit Create Exchange. And when we do that, like I said, it's going to create a little smart contract where we're going to send this amount of BNB to this address right here. So we're basically going to copy this. Hit this up here at the top hit a uh, send right here just hit paste and uh, right here we can see that that's the address that we're sending to and this is the amount that we're going to send to so what you guys can do is either write out this whole amount right here and uh, make sure you guys send that or like i said just maybe you know keep it simple 0.2 so that way it's easier for you guys to send after that it's going to go ahead and do all this confirm exchange send once it's done you guys are going to see your guys solana sitting right here all right so like I said, it's super easy. This is the easiest way to bridge. Just figure out what funds from where you guys want to pull them, whether you guys want to pull them from uh, the Binance Smart Chain right here on MetaMask, or if you guys want to pull them from, um, you know, your Exodus wallet, whatever. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> and like I said, that's essentially the easiest way to be able to, uh, you know, bridge over to Solana. So if you guys have any questions, just <laughs> recheck over the little portion of the video right now. You guys will be all right. Trust me, it's super easy. And um, basically that's it. So if you guys want to check out any of the other chains, feel free to check out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So we're over here trying to bridge to ADA, right? <laughs> ADA's popping off. I know everyone wants to check it out. So here it is. First things first, what we're going to need, super important, all right, is this NAMI wallet. So you guys are going to go to namiwallet.io. Go ahead and uh, pick up on the Chrome, Brave, Edge, whatever it is that you guys got. And then uh, once you guys are done with the whole wallet stuff and everything, it'll pop up right here. And this is essentially what you guys will see. So obviously the market's fucking crazy and it tanked like crazy. So a lot of us, you know, emptied out the wallets and bounced out. Me in particular, yeah, I'm not really that bullish on Sunday swap and all that. Um, with the way the with the way the chain is and all that, just right now the timing just doesn't seem right for me. So I'm not really in on ADA. However, I know you guys want to bridge and figure that out. So anyways. Make sure you guys get this NAMI wallet, all right? After you guys get this NAMI wallet, super easy. We're gonna go ahead and hit simple swap, all right? From here, you guys are gonna go ahead and essentially pick whatever it is that what you guys have, whether you have BTC, LTC, ETH, whatever it is that you guys have that's sitting in your Exodus wallet is what you'll put here at the top. If not, if you guys are like me, you guys have the Binance Smart Chain, all right? You guys are gonna fund your Binance Smart Chain, get everything set up, and then right here, this is what we're gonna use. Click down here, hit BNB real quick, and we're going to use the BEP20, all right? So that way we can send from this um, Binance Smart Chain side, and then we'll be able to send it straight over. So let me go ahead down here. Let's go ahead and pick up uh, ADA. Let's click on BNB. 
and then like I said we'll hit the BEP 20 and um, you know we'll just go ahead and hit the minimum so if you guys saw the rest it's essentially the same if not super easy just hit the exchange down here is the address that that we're gonna send our ADA to all right so essentially you're gonna hit your NAMI wallet you're gonna come over here we're gonna look for your address so here's send here's receive you're gonna click receive this is your address so you're gonna copy that click right here go ahead and paste and that's essentially it now you're gonna hit create exchange and like I said it's going to create a little uh, like smart contract for you guys to go ahead and send your stuff to so like just like you guys see right here you're gonna go ahead and send 0.14 BNB to this address all right this address all you're gonna do is hit copy come up over here up at the top hit the uh, send and then just like you would send to everything else you're just gonna come over here hit paste the little address is here you're just gonna verify that it's the same address and then like I said hopefully you guys just put in an easier number like 0.2 or 0.3 so that way you know it's easier for you when you send but all you guys got to do is just send that amount right here and hit next and you're ready to go so like I said it's super easy to be able to bridge to get in you know funds to ADA all you got to do is already either be uh, <clears throat> already on the uh, Binance smart chain or like I said if you guys are you know centralized you guys just got to move your funds from your exchange to exodus and once you guys move it over to exodus uh, you guys should be fine you know so anyways that's uh, basically it and uh, that's like the easiest way to be able to bridge funds over to ADA like I said super simple just get the NAMI wallet and then um, yeah just use simple swap you guys will be all right so basically that's it for ADA if you guys uh, have any questions like I said just check over the little portion real quick it's super easy it's not that crazy and if there's any other chains that you guys want to check out feel free to check out the rest of the video and that's basically it guys that, that's essentially how to bridge to every single chain if for any reason you know there's a couple little tiny chains you guys want to check out just if you guys wanted to come over here it's the same thing let's say you guys want to check out the um i guess let's do uh that hyobi all right so all you guys got to do is come over here to chain list look up the hyobi so there it is right here he'll be equal same thing you're just gonna hit the add a metamask it's gonna pop up from there you guys are gonna use elk decks same thing all right so once you guys kind of familiarize yourself with how to bridge and the same you know simple swap multi-chain any swap evo DeFi, it just gets simple <clears throat> you guys are gonna be able to you know bridge to anything you guys want um sometimes it's hard you know the new chain so like i said if you guys are running um solana or or ada you know you guys have to use <laughs> a different wallet so yeah it is what it is but like i said you know everything's pretty standard so once you guys kind of get used to everything you guys will figure out you know easier ways to be able to bridge so anyways man that's been my time if you guys like my con like always smash that like button for me you guys know i appreciate that if you guys have any questions or comments put them down below everyone knows man i ain't shy if for some reason you know i can't answer that question because i'm not awake check out the community telegrams man <laughs> I'm telling you man my guys are djing monsters all right they're from all around the world, which means they're up 24-7. So no matter what question you guys got, someone will be able to help you guys. But besides all that, this is like the third, yeah, or like 10th video, man, yo, that you watched. And you still ain't hit that subscribe yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> all right, homies, y'all stay up, all right? Peace. <laughs> Hold up, man, no bitches. Hold up, man, no bitches.